very very good evening to all of you it's a real pleasure to see all the mentors uh, together here we are launching this new program uh, they has come a long way and now we are you know on to this launching of this program with all of us as a community and what we are trying to do uh, a little bit about this whole program and uh, what is in the future you know lined out for all our mentors you know we have evolved over a long over a period of time and some of you here have uh, recently undergone our uh, advanced training some of you have not yet undergone the advanced training so i'll recommend that those of you who have not gone taken the advanced training please do so and those of you who have taken the advanced training earlier uh, need to uh, so i was saying that those of you who have attended the advanced training some time back maybe a year back or something they need to attend a refresher because a lot of updation has happened in our training and uh, because of this updation a lot of evolution has happened in the year and uh, today we are in the verge of launching the uh, study skills program and today i'm going to be talking about this entire program as to what it is and uh, what we are planning to do and why we are planning to do it and how it is going to benefit the uh, mentors okay so i was saying that since uh, we are launching the uh, deya adhyayan okay and the name suggests it's about study skills but it's something different uh, it's not uh, really about uh, only study study and uh, so let me uh, you know go on with it uh, what is this study skills program all about let's understand this you know today let's look at our own lives and when we did this analysis of we've been dealing with a lot of students we've been talking to a lot of students we are all parents we have been dealing with our own children and we found that you know there is this academic pressure that most of us have we are always you know focusing on uh, academics and putting a lot of pressure and as a system then demands that our children have to clear exams they have to get into and there's a lot of anxiety i you know we have a lot of parents out here and i've been seeing when we talk there's a lot of anxiety in the parents mind everybody is focusing on studies studies but somewhere you know uh, the studies the what to study there are three parts of studies the first thing is the what to study which is the curriculum the syllabus which the school the education system covers beautifully the second part of the studies is the why to study now this why to study is not being covered anywhere nobody is talking about it okay so a child asks you why am i studying this subject there is no answer to it and the third part of it is how to study now everybody talks about studying and getting marks but nobody is trying to tell this kid how do i go about studying it i got a big syllabus in front of me how do i do it now these are three these are two three main things but coming back to the you know whole point of studies or why will why does a child study at all i mean let's answer this basic question why is studies important today i thought you know when we started answering this question more than studies the word learning came to my mind i said what is this learning all about is is the present system where a child is studying and giving exams leading to learning or is it just kind of getting marks well yes marks marks is important marks is the measurement and without marks you cannot do anything in life i agree we have to get into an institution with marks only is very important academic attainment is critical no doubts about it and we want our kids to do very well in academics having no doubts about that but my question is there is you know the in the point where i'm putting academics into a child's mind saying that you study this and you reproduce this and you get marks and then you go ahead in life now somewhere in this process there is no process in between you know when i'm talking about no process there is a process of internalization there is a process of learning which has got missed out today i look at i've got two sons one is in 12th and another is in 10th and you know uh, they're studying in one of the best schools in pune and when i look at what they do for they're studying for their board exams now and when i look at them studying i find this completely absent as if you know they're just studying so that they can give the exams and get marks you can ask any student today whether they remember what they have studied 2 years back why why students why ask us the way we went we grew up in our education system so somewhere this disconnect is there that while i am studying and getting marks the exam part is getting catered for but is the learning happening now what is this learning all about it's about a process you know and, and learning is different for everybody now you know if i look at a kid every kid is different now today there are so many issues which is happening in, in our kids you, what do you do see here a kid is getting distracted they are getting into mobile phones in fact there is addiction happening people are getting onto gadgets they are getting addicted you know it's very easy to tell a child don't touch a mobile don't touch the phone focus on studies it's very easy as a parent to say that but we have not gone to the root cause of the problem as to why they are getting addicted to these devices 
studies is boring for most of them they are not interested in studying when they look at a subject they say why should i study this okay now nobody is trying to answer this kid why does a child need to study there is no uh, you know method of how do i um, do or do this studies the method for examination or studies is the same for everyone rote learn and reproduce again you know when you are going near examinations we leave play and start only studies only studies so that makes a person dull and lethargic so there are a lot of these issues which are happening so there is no motivation there is no interest there is no excitement there is no learning there is no knowledge yes there is you know inputs being taken uh, reproduced and marks are being obtained that's it now this is what is happening in the you know studies and then you know again in that part also the school is not able to produce well is not able to give the correct education so parents are resorting to tuitions and to coaching classes that means the time spent in school is x plus another few hours again doing the same studies again the learning we do not know how much of learning is happening there okay. again it is focused towards performance in exams so everything in studies is about performance marks exams it is not about knowledge learning understanding application you know energy feeling good about what you are doing it's not about that now this is something that is a big issue today so if i look at this narrative i feel i mean why why does studies have to be such a big burden on a child's mind why does a parent need to be so worried that a child if he doesn't score marks he cannot do well in life that kind of a worry is so much when look at parents faces we feel can i remove this anxiety from a parents face now this is the driving force for launching this program can we remove this anxiety from students from parents and that's why we said let's do this can we help can they try to study in life on in their own pace in their own system in their own way because see every child is unique every child has got their own and there are there are myriad you know combinations of these children so when we try and into the you know we are quite an expert in understanding personalities of course we know that every child's personality is different but then other than personality there are different learning styles there are different preferences there are different uh, you know skills there are different intelligences that a children possess and last but not the least the learning capability so are different for every child some children learn things very fast some children take time to learn some are medium okay and within this there are combinations so there are you know kinetic uh, kinesthetic children who work and learn there are auditory children who listen and learn there are visual children who watch and learn now if you look at the combinations of the capability learning styles multiple intelligences skills preferences choices my god this is a huge combination but then today we have we are sitting on a on a system that is today available where we can actually allow a child to discover what is my style of learning what am i how can i learn better how can i be excited about myself the way i am i mean i don't need to be comparing myself with somebody else i have my own style of learning i have my own way of learning i am my own kind of a child that is something that we are looking at right that's where you know they are adhyan is going to be playing a very big role in the very beginning and we call it the you know the first d called the discover can a child discover themselves and say any child child children discover themselves and say i you know this is my learning style this is my way of learning this is my capability this is what i love to do and this is how i would be doing it in this manner and within that i i take up uh, you know techniques which are suited to that particular child individualized learning style individualized learning techniques so the child starts enjoying this whole journey of learning on his or her own you don't need to pick up any kind of a you know external help you don't need to go to a coaching class you may need some personal tutor but again it would be somebody who would understand and not necessarily feed information of studies into your child's mind but rather facilitate the child to learn on their own self learning is what i am talking about and self learning is nothing but a very big habit once put into the child's you know uh, into the child's uh, mind it remains for life it's not just about studies it's about the entire life the child starts building a self dependency and independence and excitement about life doing whatever they love to do and start enjoying what they are doing and that's something that we are talking about and it's a very big thing that we are talking about because today nobody is talking about this 
and you know today we have a model which which can actually work and create wonders can build this kind of excitement in every child's mind so that studies becomes interesting exciting and you know they enjoy doing what they're doing that's what we're talking you know i'm an i'm an ardent uh, follower of dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan who says every child is an experiment such a beautiful statement and you know i have, it is a speech that he gave and i have got this speech written down and i you know actually copied down the entire speech onto my in an article on linkedin where i really really loved what he said you know every child is an experiment we need to understand you know child is so innocent he is, he is full of you know uh, uh, potential and if you understand that potential some children are slow some children are fast to understand some children every child is different now what happens in education system is there's unnecessary pressure of performance for marks for scoring in a paper for reproducing things and writing and getting those marks by somehow getting those marks so the child completely loses the process of thinking you know there's no creative thinking there is no uh, critical thinking there is no you know thinking of why am i doing what am i doing with all this the whole life in a student's life moment they reach 7th 8th standard 9th standard it becomes dull lethargic demotivated and they stop taking their own decisions so they believe a lot in the external system so this is something that we want to change okay now who should be attending this program this program has been designed specifically for children between the age of 10 to 15 however we'll be breaking them into two batches of you know whenever we get registrations which have already started getting registrations 10 to 13 will be one batch and 14 15 will be the next batch and we are also going to be opening the program later on for beyond 16 to 18 years and there on who are studying also so that's going to be later but right now we are focusing on the younger child primarily because this is the habit building age and when we are launching a program we want to actually see how this habit building age we can generate a habit into a child and see this child groom into something really beautiful as the time goes by so this is going to be about learning of new skills but by these new skills or this habit building that we are going to build in by these activities we are going to actually optimize their study time they're going to find a lot of time for themselves to do what they love to do as well as academically attain that excellence which they always dreamt of in their own way that's something that is a very unique and a beautiful tools and techniques and processes that we have come up with which are of course the features of it but then more importantly is the kind of you know the the uh, the first d of discovery that the child comes to know the first time in his life or her life that this is my style this is my way this is my choice and then they build their direction they, they you know actually learn those strategies learn those techniques practice them and become expert at using it in day to day life and that becomes a kind of you know inquisition query inquiry learning uh, you know skills how do i question and learn all this is going to be covered as part of this is going to be very engaging and activating for every child of the age so this is something that we are planning to do well, now what do we do here what are the methods and techniques that we are going to use so what we have here is this is a 32 hours program that has been designed by us in this 32 hours program there are going to be pre program assessments so there are going to be learning styles assessment multiple intelligences assessment skills uh, assessments loci of control you know whether they are they are giving the control to the external or the internal there's a assessment for that there's also going to be an assessment on their preferences and their choices so all these assessments are going to be a kind of a pre program thing which is going to find out this thing and then we're going to start the program this 32 hours is going to be done a, over weekends so every saturday and sunday we are launching this as we get the registrations and inquiries coming in now we are focusing on pune to launch this program so on and so forth for the next 4 weeks and there we do one month we finish this 32 hours program of course we're going to be hand holding and connecting up we're also looking at a, a tutor program that we're going to connect up with this program so that a personal tutor is also available to the student and the parent and we're going to be training the tutor to facilitate the child's learning process so that's something that also we are looking at as an add on once this program is launched okay and uh, this uh, so this is a very big thing that we are launching in which we are going to be covering in these 32 hours we're going to be taking them through modules of uh, you know uh, discovering themselves understanding their own styles and strengths a lot of motivation on the why to study and building a lot of interest uh, using then using techniques self learning techniques and strategies concept maps in the style of the child and where they're going to use it so we're going to be using it through activities and through you know uh, stories and through systems we're going to make them realize 
how you know how important it is to manage their time the time management techniques how important it is to set goals and have a very clear focused goal for each one of them so goal setting is going to be another part of this exercise also once they've set a goal and once they are doing time management what are the different techniques by which they can optimize this time and how can they prioritize things in their life all this stuff is going to be there in it and of course there'll be some skills that will be passed on to them and then some strategies for you know come giving the exam with a lot of confidence so all this is going to be part of this 32 hours program the modules have been designed uh, very well and now we are in the process of even launching a train the trainer program so it is something that i would like to announce to the mentors here so those of you who feel you have a penchant for trainer manner it's not a work on activity here it's a very serious kind of an activity so we want somebody who really can connect with the children and build in a lot of energy into them so you can apply for this uh, program and we will be conducting a two days train the trainer program where all these modules will be covered and you will be handed over the trainer manuals uh, you know access to the trainer manuals which will be of course digital and then you will be conducting these programs as and when the programs are launched in your city so that's the uh, thing that we are looking at the flow is going to be uh, as shown in the slide it's an eight sessions of four hours each uh, where you'll be in the first uh, you know there'll be assessing of the learning styles uh we'll be evaluating the learning styles the why of studies or motivation that means first there'll be the discovery of the self then the motivation to study would be uh, generated then the uh, uh, strategies and skills would be covered there'll be certain uh, habits uh, you know will be formed during these sessions of time management of goal setting of taking responsibility of uh, self learning you know uh, becoming uh, very dependent uh, on self and not on any external source so that thing that we are going to be generating through these games and activities and of course uh, the exam strategies will be covered as part of this program so this is the flow that is going to be there uh, how this uh, how is going to be conducted of course i said there'll be train the trainer program so mentors are going to be trained there'll be a lot of people who are applying for it and we'll be training them so cdfs are welcome to apply for this uh, uh, position of uh, trainer who can go and do this training uh there'll be a kind of uh, a um, senior mentor and one trainer for a batch of 10 people so we are launching only a batch of 10 people we'll be breaking it into age groups so we cannot have a 10 year old with an 18 year old so we're going to be 10 11 12 13 together 14 15 16 together 14 15 to we're going to select 10, 10 people in one batch and go run multiple batches that's how the plan is going to be there'll be no lectures and no presentations it'll be engaging activities and uh, of course we are using our own techniques of positive psychology and appreciative inquiry to do this uh, work uh, what what are the deliverables that we give along with this of course there are going to be uh, designed uh, student workbooks uh, there'll be measurement of learning outcomes a lot of charts props and materials will be used for each of those modules depending on the learning style of the child there'll be different activities for different children they'll be put in groups so there'll be a you know kind of a one is to five interaction with mentors so a lot of personalized attention is going to go to every child in this and we're going to build a lot of energy and value systems into them during this and of course hand holding will be provided so this is a bit of uh, this what we are going to give them so what we believe that is going to come out of this entire program is that in various independent decisions they would get confident about themselves because they have learned what their style of learning is and they kind of uh, you know uh, take responsibility for what they are doing rather than being doing things because they're being told to do and of course the academic performance is bound to go up because of this right so this is the entire uh, you know uh, uh, thing that i want to talk about study skills and now the as we are talking to the mentor community here mentors uh, could be some of the mentors who are interested and who have a, they could uh, you know uh, opt for it we we'll launch a tot program and we'll invite you for the training so as i was saying i got some questions from here which said that you know how do we apply to be a mentor please drop in a mail uh, to me or to priya shrinivasan priya.shrinivasan@theyar.com and uh, you know we would invite you for a, a session and uh, you know that's how we'll get we'll select you so we'll be inviting you for the we'll be launching the tot program for this it will be a two days training and uh, you can apply for this number one number two this is a normal business model so we'll be launching this uh, you know we are charging there's a brochure which is there in the handout so you can download the brochure you can go through the brochure so we are charging for this 32 hours program 16000 rupees 
that means we are charging approximately 500 rupees an hour uh, for the program which is actually not much but then we are launching a new program so it's uh, that's we said let's do it for the benefit of the audience and uh, in this so as a business model as a business model i all of you are aware that you know if you are going to be referring people to us you will be eligible for a if you refer anybody for this session mission as it may be so that's another benefit 20% is what we are saying for this model we are giving to the mentors uh, yes ashish uh, uh, we will be coming back with this uh, question of yours uh, right now we have not yet uh, uh, decided on the charge to the, the cdf but yes there would be some charges because we'll have to incur a cost in doing this training program so we will try to keep it uh, as uh, minimum as possible but then there would be a charge 16000 rupees for this 32 hours program available in the handouts you can download you can go through the brochures uh, all the uh, you know flyers and the posters are uh, send it across in your groups and you could get people to register for it all uh, right any questions you have you can uh, you know you can ask the uh, question uh, you can ask the questions here so i think uh, mr ramachandra rao has asked a question i've already uh, asked, answered that question we'll get back to you on the exact costing once the tot is launched a uh, second thing now since the mentors are here i would also like to uh, you know ask all the mentors first of all i would like to ask all the cdfs who have not undertaken advanced training to please undertake the advanced training at the earliest opportunity because we are doing a lot of activities and we would not like our our cdfs to miss out on those opportunities reason being that as a policy decision we said that once you finish your advanced training you indicate your activity in there and accordingly we register you as a member of the chapter now the chapters are getting active and through the chapters we intend to do a lot of work and you know uh, with the present uh, the first meeting that is going to happen now across in bangalore and uh, in uh, uh, what do you call in pune and in mumbai we are going to be announcing certain groups in each chapter we're going to be dividing the chapter into three groups of you know education and knowledge we're going to look uh, uh, into a uh, buzz creator and into the business coaching so there'll be three groups so all these uh, um, all the people who have finished advanced training are eligible to join either one of these groups not undertaken advanced training please do it as soon as possible and join the chapter and be a an active member of the chapter meeting not to miss out on the opportunities a lot of work is going to happen towards study skills and towards other activities also which we are doing now to answer the questions about uh, how the mentors will be paid it will be as per the uh, you know uh, what do you call the uh, program that we are charging will be paid will be will be calculating it and will be paying you per session so that is how this, this whole program will be we will let you know the entire details once the selection is done level 2 and advanced training is the same mukta you have already undertaken it uh, in bangalore so i am talking about some people who have done it uh, some time back so uh, they would need to undertake a refresher right now and i also see some names out here who have not done their advanced training so my sincere request is please join up for the advanced training as soon as possible so pune uh, the bombay advanced training is happening tomorrow day after and uh, next day 13 14 15 we are doing it in mumbai and uh, we'll be launching it in uh, pune i think in uh, november if i'm not uh, wrong so whenever the uh, training is announced uh, puja will be getting in touch with all of you please uh, register and join for it some of you have done it some time back please join in as a refresher because we keep updating our training a lot of uh, new material has got added and uh, once you finish the training please register into the chapter and start attending the monthly chapter meetings in the monthly chapter meetings a lot of decisions are being taken a lot of activity is started happening so you know with regarding to business with regarding to improving your reputation as a mentor so a lot of work is happening there so please don't miss out on that and be active in the uh, chapter meetings we are also launching up in chennai we'll be coming up with a, a refresher program very soon in which uh, all our chennai mentors who have not yet done the advanced training can attend that as well as the old mentors in chennai will be joining for a refresher program so that's going to happen very soon in october that's on the pipeline we'll be announcing it as soon as we finalize it tentatively it's in the first week of october uh, yeah so i have completed my part of the presentation and uh, i would open the house for question and answers uh, you could ask your questions on the chat box or i'm going to i'm going to enable your mics so you could ask your questions yeah sunil uh, uh, i let you know in hyderabad we should be doing uh, we should be doing the advanced training very soon i let you know as soon as it is decided we'll get back to you on this yes ashish the role of parent in adhyayan will be doing a parent orientation workshop and we'll be telling them exactly in the beginning of the program we'll be explaining the entire thing to them after that the parent would be in interaction in between we'll be talking to them and taking a feedback from them train the trainer will be for 2 days 
charges i will let you know shabir we have not yet finalized the charges we will let you know as soon as the costing is done and the charges are finalized parent will be a person who is going to be a stakeholder in this whole program because this cannot be done without the parents uh, involvement so uh, initial there will be an orientation program and then we'll be involving the parent during taking feedbacks and in the final uh, session the parents will be involved so that's the role of the parent and of course they'll be required to drop their kids you know so that's of course one of the roles yes it's included in the 32 hours the first session would be with the parents and the kids so the parents should be coming for an before the session starts we'll be calling them for an orientation program doing a pre program assessment and then the first session will start so the parents need to drop the kids and go that's it the first session yes there will be follow up with the student and parent after the workshop is over i had mentioned that we are also looking at is an add on program we are looking at uh, connecting up a personal tutor with the parent so that the tutor will be trained by us he'll be a certified tutor who would facilitate the child's learning based on the learning style identified during this training program minimum batch size uh, i'm saying 10 we are looking at a minimum batch size of 10 people so if we can get 10 people together we'll be we can launch this program anywhere yes the non cdf can take the training mukta we can we have to train the person so we'll are looking at the right person and we'll be training them for it he'll be they can become part of the tot and uh, they can do the training uh no it's as of now see, we were talking about 15th we are not too sure that it will start on the 15th though we have registrations for it but then we need to uh, get a batch of 10 people so most likely it will get postponed to the next week yes uh, mr achanta it is 16000 per student the criteria for trainers is the trainers should be a person who can engage well who is a person who can connect with students and i can drive into them these values and habits so it will be a person who can actually energize and engage the uh, students will be selecting the trainers based on certain interviews and certain mocks that will be conducting sarini will be training the tutor i said the train the tutor program is going to be there we are going to be doing a proper training of the tutor but that will be an add on program the training the tutor will be an add on program and the tutor the tutor connect will be an add on to this study skills right uh, right bushan uh, great do visit the office we'll discuss it in details we we are actually doing uh, some amendment work on the entire dashboard so all of you will be getting uh, you know we are actually launching a scheduling and uh, student dashboard now once that gets done uh, so you know the uh, yes you are talking about giving the leads in this thing yes you can give it on the same dashboard you can uh, refer the leads for study skills we have added that in the system really not yet scheduled we will be scheduling it uh, soon we will let you know we are first launching the batch in pune once it is done in pune then we will launch it in other places if you are able to get a batch of 10 people let us know we can launch it as soon as possible any other questions i am uh, waiting for any questions from your side please do ask questions if you have any in one session there would be uh, answering pradeep's question how many trainers would be there in one session we would be having two trainers for 10 people that means one is to five ratio we are maintaining okay i uh, think uh, if there are no further questions thank you very much for attending this uh, meeting referral i said 20% uh, shabir so uh, we are offering 20% for the mentors only for the mentors pune the first study skill session we are uh, you know uh, we have not yet finalized the location it may not be on the 15th we will be probably doing it in uh, on 22nd or on the next week after that so that's when we are going to start yes rishikesh cdf remuneration i said 20% for referring the student and if you are a tot trainer we will let you know what is the cost what is the day daily charges that will be paying to you thank you everybody thanks so much uh, for attending this uh, webinar taking your time and attending this and uh, uh, i request again let's uh, you know be active in the chapter and let's gun ahead with these new programs this is only the beginning we're going to be launching many more such programs in the near future so uh, looking forward to again interacting with all of you thank you so much for attending this likely rate for tot will be uh, parag uh, mostly uh, the coming uh, week we'll be doing it Hi right, everyone thank you so much